Let's see if we can get some squid leaves. Tonight? Tonight. Now. Now? Welcome back. Today we're coming to you from a place called Port Rickaby. Uh, it's on the York Peninsula coast. It's a little coastal town, I guess. Nice if you, and quiet. yeah, I don't know if you call it a town. It's a caravan park. Quite a few shacks, and that's it. No pub, no shops, no nothing here. It's close. Um, the only bummer here, I would say, is that we can't have an individual fire. Um, but they do have communal one. Yeah, so up the back so. there's a communal fire. So we'll see whether they'll get that cranking tonight, being a Friday night. So the idea for this weekend is to go explore the coast. Uh, there's quite a few camping spots there. It's uh, the not free camps. You still have to pay about 10 bucks or 15 bucks or something. But there's some cracking spots along this coast. Now, again, we've picked a bad weekend to come, but it's coming into winter so we're gonna to have to expect this for the next three months of pretty crappy weather at the moment the sun's shining but on the way here it absolutely bucketed down fingers crossed we can get Ramon up as soon as this wind dies if it does and uh, get you a bit of a aerial view from this place because it's pretty cool not sure if you see but we're just up the back here site number 14 spin around right behind us is the jetty so hopefully we'll catch some squid later but first we'll check these guys out. If they're having any luck, we'll stand right next to them and throw our line right over the top of them. Maybe not. Beautiful weather rolling in behind us. So I don't think we'll get out some of these tracks today because they're going to be so muddy. Maybe tomorrow morning we'll head out. Yeah. We get a yes for that? Yes we do. We're going to see if we can get some squidlies. Tonight or tomorrow? Now. Now? Yeah. Are we? Yep. Okay, apparently we've got squid, so... In my good clothes, I've got to go get changed. Yeah. <laughs> you can see I'm dressed for squid and this one, I'm not, not so no. much. <laughs> Let's check these guys out first and see how they're going. Alright. Yeah? Yep, done. Done. We'll see a bit later on. And it's a nice short walk down to the jetty, <laughs> which is even better. It's just, it's just there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. It's just a beautiful day. <laughs> It, it actually is. I'd rather it be like this than raining. So we're going to get rain and we have oh. had rain. Oh, it's coming. It's coming all right. But there's still a bit of sunlight. <laughs> so no squidding at the moment. No squidding, no. Not for us. Either. The guys who were on the jetty, they is in uh, no luck. It's just too rough. So they only walked out there probably 10 minutes before we walked on the jetty. Yeah, when the and they're already starting to walk back, so... Well, the weather was actually looking alright then. So we've got a quick break in the weather. Sun's out, wind's dropped a little bit. So we're going to try getting Ramona. Let's see how we go.
So this is why we like Port Rickaby so much. Just a short walk from the caravan park. You've got all of this and not a soul in sight, except for the one behind me. wet ass up on these slippery rocks wet ass but didn't spill my beer so that was an adventure wet ass didn't spill my beer so I'm happy can always change me decks but if I run out of beer catastrophe oh, Peg's got one in their pocket. <laughs> and this is why I married her. Uh, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Morning. Morning. So today the weather's not looking too bad actually. Uh, the wind's dropped a bit. The sun is shining at the moment. So while we've got a bit of a break in the weather, we'll go for a bit of a drive along the coast and check out some potential camping spots. Now, a lot of them we might not be able to get to because the roads are muddy and we don't have any max tracks or any recovery gear. And let's be honest, no one really knows where we're going anyway. So the last thing you want to do is get bogged out there and get stuck. We've arrived at a place called Flattery's Beach. Apparently in 2022, it was rated the Australia's fourth best beach. Now, I don't know if that's true, but uh, it does look pretty spectacular. There's... Yeah, we don't know who rated it. Yeah, that's right. We can't find anything on the internet to, to, to uh, verify that information. But so um, yeah, the water goes out quite a way. Uh, a lot of sandbars and all that sort of stuff. So apparently this is the place you want to come if you want to learn how to... Paddleboard. <laughs> paddleboard. <laughs> Maybe we'll, we'll stand do... stand up paddleboard, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that when it's a bit warmer. So we'll be back for another episode, <laughs> episode two of my... Part two, <laughs> paddleboard experiences. Let's see if I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got a bit of break in the weather, so we're going to throw Ramon up in the air and uh, have a quick look around. So I'm hoping uh, Ramon got some pretty good footage while it was up there. As you can see, you're allowed to drive on the beach. You can walk your dogs and let your dogs run free down here. Uh, the only thing you can't do is camp. Uh, would be a spectacular place to camp, but unfortunately you can't. So them's the rules. So you be the judge. Do you think it's uh, worth being rated Australia's fourth best beach? I don't know. Uh, maybe we need to get out and see some more beaches. All right, so we're at a place called Bernard's Beach. Burners. Burners. <laughs> Frankly, laugh. 
Burners Beach. Weekend with Bernie. Direction we're going is for camping and there are toilets available. The other direction, there are no toilets and camping allowed and you've got to be self-contained. So we'd probably go back the other way if anything was available. Right, I'll just flip the camera and around. And the rain, the rain, the rain. Raining. Just like that. Mmm, that came out of nowhere, mate. <laughs> I don't know how far this camps with this. Don't know. Hopefully we don't get bombed in. Alright, so this is Burners Beach. This is the campground. Uh, we're going to get out in a sec because it's still pouring with rain. So as soon as the rain stops, we'll get out and have a quick look around. There's quite a few campers here caravans and that so coming down with your van no dramas at all by the looks of it I'm not sure if you can have fire pits and all that sort of stuff I got no idea don't know too much about this place there is a little toilet up the back I imagine that would get pretty busy in the mornings I imagine so it's probably best to have your own I think pull up over here yeah open yeah. fire pits it says yep there you go you can have open fire pits excellent all right so we'll just pull up here it looks like the rain's about to stop in a sec we'll get out and we'll have a quick look around and it actually says dangerous when wet <laughs> great all right okay so <laughs> dangerous times ahead so you can see the campgrounds behind us there if we flip around water's just here and this is what you've got not a bad spot all right so no pets, no vehicles. Oh, on the on beach. The beach. Oh, yeah. so Bernice Beach is uh, through Point Turton and we followed the coast and then I chucked on Wiki Camps and it come up as a little camping spot. See what the other end is like. Yeah, so the other one would be self-contained, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And that, that we only saw the one caravan down there, so. So, so they say they got a toilet, but it's not. It's just a. Oh, it's a long drop, but it's better than no drop. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than not having one. <laughs> Fair enough. And you do need toilet paper. I'll just add that. <laughs> There's none in there. <laughs> No point showing you the sign on this one. It's called Len Barker Reserve Campground. We're just going to quickly go in. It says camping permits are required, which is pretty standard along here. I'm going to say these places just keep getting better. So, Len Barker Reserve Campground and have generator, is that right? Yep. Yep. And you can have um, fire in fire, you know, when it's not a, um, what do you call it? Fire ban. When there's no fire bans, you're allowed to have fire. It does say on the um, wiki camps, it says um, make sure you do put your permit displayed because um the ranger does come through often so i mean you do it anyhow so but it's good like straight down into here so the car's just oh, there uh, you see i imagine you can just put your caravan there there's some people camped up the back in a caravan 
Well, it has got van access and campers and whatever. Tent. Very easy. But yeah, uh, just check it. this out. This water is crystal clear. I actually think I like this better than the other one. They both got their differences, haven't they? Oh yeah. But you could just come sit here. How good is this? Got some kids, chuck them in there. <laughs> We're definitely coming back to this campground for sure, 100%. There's heaps of spots. Yeah, lots of spots, close to the water, pick some, the weather. Some sheltered sites if you want it. Yeah, we've got another round rain cloud coming through now, but this would be an awesome spot. Yeah. Nice rainbow in the distance. Check this joint out. Check all these out. <laughs> Mine didn't work. Professional, hang on. You gotta get it. Oh, I've got two bounces. Two Maybe bounces. It. Is that it? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how not to do it. That was a fun. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Oh, that was a good one. I don't think I got that. Of course not. Ready? <laughs> That's a professional. Just throw my arm out. <laughs> and here you go. These are the caves. Can we get up there? Yes, you can. A cracking spot. Better if there wasn't dog crap down here. Yeah. That's the view. And it's a bit stinky. Well, then how do we go back down? All right, let's see if we can get Ramon in the air while we got some blue skies above us and uh, get an aerial shot. Should look pretty smick, I reckon. So, so like usual, mm -hmm. day to go home. Yes. And look at the weather. Yes. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> it's fantastic. Just a slight breeze, beautiful blue skies, yeah. as expected. And uh, yeah, we're heading back to the grind, like everyone else. So, all right. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. That's us from Port Rickaby. If you haven't been here, it's a great location. It's one of our favourite ones on the York Peninsula. Come down, check it out. You'll love it. I guarantee you. We might do another one, we're not sure, on the York Peninsula because there's so many places that we haven't covered yet, so... Oh, that Ben something. What's that? Ben Lynn Reserve thing. I'm not sure where she's going with this one. Near the Pines. Yes. Point Turton and Pines yes. that we looked at. Yes. That's where we'll be going. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so. Anywho. <laughs> Anyhow, maybe we might go further up towards Wallaroo, somewhere completely different. Who knows? All right. All right. Thanks for watching again. Um, take care. See you in the next one. Bye.